want to thank all. I want to thank all our guests who were so gracious to invite us here today and to stand with us. And uh, I wish we were talking about climate change and doing something about that. <laughs> because my constituents are baking in Texas, yeah. Yeah. and we are concerned about the power grid and the blackouts that they are going to have to endure this summer and be hotter than what it is we're enduring outside. But there is a, a urgency here, and that's the reason why we're here in the nation's capital. And that urgency happens to evolve around the fact that we don't want our constituents' rights, voting rights, stripped away from them. If we can find ways to preserve the voting rights of persons we send in outer space, and give them the opportunity to cast a ballot in outer space, we ought to be able to be smart enough right. to resolve the issues if there are issues, to preserve the rights of our constituents to be able to cast their votes, and to cast their votes and participate in democracy without fear, without intimidation, and without arrest. Yes. Yeah. And that's why we are here today. We refuse to be a hostage, yeah. to remain a hostage within the state of Texas. And I know that there are search warrants out for us, and I'm ready to be arrested. <laughs> what do you do to a slave if you don't do with nothing but arrest them when they flee? We fled Texas, and if they want to arrest me, go ahead. I'm ready to be arrested. Because I spent almost 24 hours listening to bills, the voters' rights bills. And to me, that was, that was very, very intimidating to have to sit there and watch people come and beg, watch the disabled come and beg watch the ordinary citizens come and beg just for an opportunity to be able to participate in their democracy, only to get ignored at the end of the line when we voted along partisan lines. So we're being, we're being watched, eyes of Texas upon us, we're being watched, I know we are, but let me just tell you, I want to make sure that my constituents have a say in the democracy. Yes, yes. If we can go to Iraq and American soldiers, black, brown, white, and all, can spill their blood on that country to give those people the right to vote in their democracy, and they come home to America and they're denied the right to vote, what does that say about us? I used to think about when I looked at my grandmother who worked for two dollars a week, and she would save pennies and nickels. She couldn't afford to save quarters, not from two dollars a week where she had her whole earning that she had to pay for her transportation back and forth to work by a poll tax. And because she was black, she could only vote in the, in the general elections because the primaries was white only, white only. And it was not until way almost in the early 60s until we got a right to do that. And just think about that. Do you think that polling place was close? No. And transportation was not accessible as it is today for her. She had to go the long ways to cast her vote. And many times, miss a vote because of the distance of where the polling places were. And when I think about how we had to come a long ways and watch signs that says, no dogs, no Negroes, no Mexicans. When dogs was leaks on our people, when they were beaten, when they were bombed, when they were killed, and all of the things that we had to endure, haven't we done enough? Right. Uh, Have yeah. we paid the price enough? Yeah. What is going to take for us to be able to be Americans in this country? Mm. I am an American and I want to vote without somebody infringing upon my rights and the rights of my constituents. And I'm standing to fight here today for it. I'm standing yeah. to fight for it. I said I can't fight no more. Yeah. Because I'm tired of people picking on us for no reason. Yeah. We are Americans. And we are proud Americans. And we deserve the same rights and respect and the same considerations that everybody has. Yeah. And I'm going to fight until we get it. I'm not going to be a hostage. If they want to arrest me, bring it on. Bring it on.